Yes, people, welcome back to GNA TV. I hope you guys are well, wherever it is that you may be around the world. Chelsea 2, Palmeiras 1, Kai Havertz is the best on earth. Silky German is what we do. Oh, yeah, we've won everything. I've managed to see Chelsea win every trophy possible. And that's amazing, man. Literally, every trophy possible in the last 20 years of our football club, I have managed to watch them lift. I have managed to watch them lift along with you guys. Our team has, in theory, when you think about success, when you think about what they've done and what we've achieved, it's, it's, it's astronomical. It's absolutely astronomical. And honestly, I am buzzing. I am buzzing and I'm so happy that we've managed to actually bring this one home. Like I said, you don't get to play in this competition too much. You don't get to play in this competition too much. Twice that we've only played. We went out the first time, second time round. We got it done. We may have made it hard. Don't get me wrong. We've definitely made it harder for ourselves. But however, we got it. And next season, when we're wearing that badge that basically says that we are the best we are the best in the world, that our football club is the best in the world. Second team, the second team in English football to win the, the World Treble Super Cup Champions League Club World Cup. The only other team that's done that is Chelsea. So much to talk about, so much to talk about. We are going to open up the lines. We're going to talk about players. We're not going to do a normal player rating where we go through the players. That's not going to happen today. Just going to go through some tweets that I've got here. Um, and then we're going to talk about individual players and then we're going to get the lines open, get you guys involved, allow you time, allow you guys to uh, uh, have your say as well. But make sure you smash the like button. Over 30 of you here already. Let's get them likes up, guys. Please get them likes up. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are buzzing wherever it is that you are right now, whether you're drinking or chilling, whatever it is that you're doing. Big up to you all. But before we move forward, you know what I'm going to do? Let's cue that intro. <laughs> Yes, people, welcome back to GNA TV. And yes, we are the world champions. The world champions. Don't let any fucking rival come around and tell us, tell you that this doesn't mean anything. Man, like people like a gal walking around saying that it's like a community shield, this one, what we've won. They use the community shields as their argument against Chelsea to say that they've won more trophies than us, which puts them above us. Their community shields is what puts them above us. And all of a sudden, they're trying to downplay, or should I say, a gal is trying to downplay us. So don't listen to rivals like this because they're never ever going to see their football club ever lift a trophy like this. When you're Chelsea, when you're a fan of Chelsea, you're used to having success. And yes, we do have a reactionary fan base. Yes, we are over the top. Yes, we all moan about players, but the one thing that we we all can agree on as fans of this football club is that we like winning and we put winning first and we put Chelsea Football Club first. We put our football club first. We put that, we put player agendas aside, we put player agendas aside, we put even bad performances that we have to talk about aside, whether it's you know personal disputes on GNA TV, which we have before, we come together and we celebrate. When we win and when we win, we we come together, we come together and we fight against anyone that tries to downplay what we did today. And yes, it wasn't a great performance. It was not a great performance. We know that I was literally pulling my hair out. But we know that Chelsea Football Club currently at the moment are not really in any great form. We haven't been in any great form. But the one thing that. We should do, even though that we're not in great form, is celebrate. Celebrate. Celebrate it while you can. Yeah? Celebrate it while you can. You know, because I've just quickly got to bring saying up two seconds. Put this, let me just put this here as well. So if there's any like, you know, rivals coming through and they want to see what we're up to, that is what we're up to. There it is. Champions, FIFA Club World Cup champions. Come on. Second team in English football to ever do the World Treble Super Cup Club World Cup Champions League. 
Let's see how everyone's feeling in the chat. Over 30 of you here. Big up to Sosa. He says, I'm happy for Abramovich. He looks so happy. And I love that picture, brother. Absolutely love it. Noah's here as well. He says, big up, Jen. Chelsea are back. I say back, but they're far from it. But yeah, it was a good win. Chelsea fan, big up to you. Devin, big up to you. Uh, Mr. HD, big up. David, nice to see you in the house, my man. Vinny, champions of the world, brother. Champions of the world. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Change your name to world champions. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Edit my name. World champions. That is literally it. That's what I've done. Big out to Arpan in the house. Grey Wolf Stin is also here as well. Just the conference league. Do you know what I mean? Carl, nice to see you. I'm at Stanford Bridge right now. We're, where are we? Chelsea fans partying. We have just won the club World Cup. Carl is at Stamford Bridge as we speak. Big up to you, my guy. Big up to you. Wish I was there. I was there for the Champions League. I'm not there tonight for that. I actually should have actually thought of coming down. That'd been great. Untaker CFC, big up to you. Big up to Getz. Big up to Joe. J Joe Boy as well. Big up to you, best owner in the world. Bex as well. She says, smash the likes for the Club World Cup champions. Make sure we do that. Let's get some likes up. Redneck, big up to you. Redneck, I'll get the link out to you in a bit. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing a long stream talking about player ratings. Just going to dig into some, some bits and bobs, and then we're going to just get the lines open straight away and get you guys involved. The golden badge. The one thing I've been banging on about that I've wanted. I've been wanting this golden badge. I want this kit. This kit is the one. This is going to be the best kit that I have ever bought from Chelsea. And I'm not talking about colours, this, that and the other. Just the pure, the pure meaning of it. The pure meaning of that shirt. Having that gold badge on your kit, playing Champions League with it, Premier League with it. You know, it's, it's, it's a big achievement. It's a huge achievement from our football club. Big up to Charles. Big up to her. She done very well on the stream yesterday. Make sure that you tune in to her when she's doing the women's show. Hassan. Big up to you. Andreas, my guy. He goes, let's go, my let's go, Jim. My guy, champions. Andreas, if you want to join the join the group, mate, you want to come on, drop me a message. You've got my uh, you got me on DM, so get me involved. Your gals just oh, don't even care. You know what your gals like. Yeah, I will do, bro. I am. Just bear with me. Let, let me just quickly go through some bits. Showtime's in the house. Showtime, be happy about your football club winning. Yeah, let's not let's not throw player agendas around today. You know, let's not do that. Thanks, Jim. The one title we didn't have, of course, we wanted to win and we are delighted. So am I, man. So am I. Next uh, next step is the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. Listen, Carabao Cup is the next on our list. We've got two trophies already. we still got a Carabao Cup. we still got the Champions League, which we're defending currently. And we still got the FA Cup that we're playing in as well. Already. Already. Big up to uh, Ibrahim. He says, good evening, good fellow, uh, good feeling today and special. Come on, Chelsea. Big up to you, Top Bins. Vinny, Arsenal for life. Says, hurts to see, to see you winning. But at least you're honest, bro. As an Arsenal fan, it's good to see that we have honest people in the chat, not other uh, Arsenal fans that walk around trying to downplay what this football club has actually done. And I keep stressing about it. Second team in England to win the world treble. Us. The other one was Liverpool, Super Cup, Champions League, Club Winners' Cup, Chelsea. That's what I'm going to say. Jim, did you check Klazrev? He went in for Marie. Yeah, I haven't seen Klazrev, but I'm sure he'll probably pop up somewhere at some point. Big up to Alfie as well. He says, only team in the country to win everything, but performance wasn't brilliant. Facts. We're going to talk about that in a second. Up the Chelsea, as always, my man, up the Chelsea. So, yeah, let's, let's just delve into some little bits and bobs. We'll open up the line shortly as well. Um, some little bits and bobs after the game. You know, I've got that good feeling in me right now. I want to start with man like Thiago Silva, who did give the penalty. We can argue that his arm shouldn't have been where it should have been. I was, to be fair, I was actually one of the ones that was like, nah, what are you fucking talking about? Like, you know, I was arguing it, so I was blue in the face. Um, but he has won the Adidas Golden Ball Award for Chelsea. So, you yeah, know... My guy, El Monstro, just doing bits as always. And I'm so happy for him. I am so happy to see El Monstro because uh, winning what he's, what he's won. PSG, great career, comes to Chelsea, won a Super Cup, won a Champions League and won the Club World Cup. These are all trophies that that man has not won. And now he can 
literally, he can literally boast it. He can boast it. He came to this football club. Yeah, his second season with us. And he look at him. Look what he's done. Big up to Thiago Silva. Best defender in the world. Best defender in the Premier League. Any other rival fans want to argue with it, go and argue with the wall. The wall's over there. Or your wall at home, wherever you are. I don't care. Because we are the champions. We are the champions of the world. Of the world. Thank you very much. Uh, Mason Mount leaves the stadium on crutches. Not good news for Chelsea. Oh, that's not good news. Again, I think it was his ankle that was playing up, unfortunately. Can a Aspie Silva can retire in peace? They've won everything. Silva, yes. Aspie, yep. Yeah. Can a still got one more to win, Sosa, if I'm right in saying. Congratulations on your uh, on your thing, but I don't really care about it because Arsenal don't compete with Chelsea, but nice trophy. Uh, Chelsea plus Silva is a fairy tale. Big up. They said Thiago Silva was coming to Chelsea just to retire. Man's got, got more trophies in 18 months than Man United in 10 years. That is facts. That is facts right there. Facts. Stick that up your bum holes. Do you know what I mean? That is facts. Every rival played down Thiago Silva coming to this football club, right? And he still could win more. He's got a Carabao Cup final to play in. FA Cup, Champions League's all right. We might not do it all. We know that. But look at what we're doing and what we've achieved with this guy. And she's right. He's won more in 18 months than Man United have in the last 10 years. The last 10 years. They can't chat shit to us. None of them. Arsenal fans, Man United fans, do one. Thank you, PSG, for two corn silver. Facts. Big up Werner and Pulisic, Jazza B. Big up to them. Chelsea players, back them. 100%. Matty Case is champions of the world. Facts. Champions of the world. When I open up the lines, the first thing when the panel comes in, I want to hear us all sing is, We are the champions. We are the champions of the world. Because we are now. We can actually sing that song as long as we want. Literally. Werner was breaking ankles. He was, you know, in the second half. He was skinning them, bruv. Will, will, be, will Johnny be landing the minerals, Gem? Johnny has got the link, I think. He will be coming. I'm assuming Johnny will be coming. Assuming Johnny will be coming. Um, all right, let's move from that one. Let's move from that one. Well done, Thiago Silva. Don't worry about the... Uh, don't worry about um, the amble, mate, because we've won. The next thing I want to go to is Kai Havertz is the best on earth. There we go, my guys. Kai Havertz leading Chelsea to glory again. And why have I brought this up? Because there's two, it's too similar in, in two finals. Champions League, Club World Cup, same sort of thing. But he took his shirt off today as well. He was having it. He was absolutely having it. But to step up, to step up and take that pressure that was sitting on his shoulders at the age of 22, 23, whatever he is in terms of age. Yeah. To do that, knowing that this football club at this point had not won this trophy. This trophy would literally certified us to, from having won everything. To be able to have all that pressure and finish the penalty in the way that this guy did, there is not one person that can come on here and cut and slag Kai Havertz to me. Yeah, we can moan about his performances in games here and there, but he turns up in big games. He steps up in big games. Since he has been here and he's been given the opportunity to be in big games, he has stepped up. He stepped up. You know, you had Werner, you had Ziyech, you know, you've got all these experienced players on the pitch, not willing to take it. All right, if Lukaku was on there, he probably would have stepped up. Fair enough, but he wasn't. And Kai Havertz, man like Kai Havertz, steps up and places that ball into the bottom corner. What a finish. Absolute class finish. Kai is generational. Clutch Havertz is only 22. Clutch Havertz. I love it. Love that, Bex. Uh, not familiar with each other, and I know we can't. <laughs> That's fair enough. Jim Havertz is a serious player. Kai, uh, Kai Havertz. Uh, where, where's them pa uh, Palmyra fans now? I don't know. They were giving it all the biggie when they disappeared. Kai Havertz is the new drug regen. 
Let's have it right, is what Bex is saying. Kai Havertz being a new clutch player at Chelsea, do you agree or disagree? Yes, it's very early, but when you think about what he's done up to this point, in, he's becoming a clutch player, player for the big moments. There he is. All right, his performances might not be great and his assists and goals don't show that, but he steps up. This guy steps up. This guy steps up. Big up to Charlie. He says, come on, boys. Big up to you, my man. Big up to you. Celebrate away. I read it already now. I read it. I read it. Um, yeah. Kai Averts. What's a goal? Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, we got we got to look at this because this is such a beautiful picture, man. This picture is so... Just look at it. Look at it, man. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Look at him. The love and to still have the love that this chairman has for this football club 20 years down the line. The reason we are where we are today is because of this man right here. This man is the reason Chelsea are successful, or have been successful, and now have become the most you know successful team in English football, but now have managed to win every trophy possible. Without Roman Abramovich's funds, we're never doing it. And even though we've bought some absolute shit as shit players, we've also bought some great players. Yeah, we've also bought some great managers. We've also bought some, you know, great everything. Great everything that's allowed us to be successful, whether it's short term or long term. We know it's short term for us because of the, the way we deal with managers. It has brought success to this football club. And there's not one person that can sit here and tell me that that Roman Bramovich isn't the guy. He is the best best chairman in the world. He is the best chairman in the world. There's not one chairman like him. I tell you now, Arsenal, I'll go and ask an Arsenal fan that ain't biased and a Man United fan that ain't biased about Roman Abramovich. They will all say to you, they wished, they wished they had him. Arsenal fans cry, oh, he came to us first before he came to you. Tottenham fans, yeah, he was talking to us before he come to you. Yeah, but he didn't end up with you. He ended up coming to the blue side. Yeah, and look at what we've become. The biggest club in London. We own London. We roll with London. We walk through Spurs on a, on a regular. We can play on Spurs' pitch as a home ground. Arsenal the same. We'll go Arsenal. we we'll slap them as well. All because this man. This man. This man. Look at him. Doesn't that just make you want to smile, guys? Doesn't that just want to make you smile? He's worth the money we bought him. Big up to Roman. Havertz was worth the money. You could argue that in what, we, what we've won. I think Roman Ravarich would turn around and tell you guys himself. He was worth the money. Yeah, he's, all right, he skulls and, and his uh, assist isn't there. But in big moments, clutch games, Kai Havertz has become clutch for this football club. He is another important player to for me in, 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 this, in, in, in Chelsea going forward. And we have to keep him. And he has to. Yes, he has to improve more consistently. We can we can all agree that. But he's, there's no argument that he is not clutch. Big up to Grey Wolf Stinner, who has given uh, uh, given a donation. And he says, Aspie also needs credit. He, pret he pretended he was the penalty taker, so they, would, they wouldn't put off Havertz as much. Aspie will be missed when he leaves Chelsea. Aspie's a legend. Aspie's a legend of this football club. And again, no one can tell me nothing. The guy has won everything. The first Chelsea player... In history, to have won it all, he's won. It, he's won even Drogba and Lampard and Terry who'd won me, everything, pretty much nearly everything, have not lifted that. But Mr. Aspie has lifted every single trophy you can think of. So if you can't put that guy in as legend status or legendary status at our football club, at our football club, then you, you, you're, cra you're crackers. You're crackers. I'm telling you. Yeah, absolutely crackers. Grey Wolf Stinner, thank you for the donation, guys. Any donations to this channel help massively moving forward. Big up everyone that's already here. 141 of you in. Smash the like button. I am going to put in, put in the, 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 the link in the chat very soon. You let you guys come in. Come celebrate with me. But remember what I said to you. When you come in, we all sing together. We are the champions. We are the champions of the world come on man come on big up for the donation man london is blue bro roman Bramwich is the best owner in the world yeah literally and if anyone says otherwise go and argue with the wall there's no one bigger than this chairman or better he is the greatest chairman since the 2000s this guy right here since he came to chelsea my guy roman Abramovich. 
People who have a mad agenda against Havertz, do you blame them? Jim, what would you say about Arsenal fans saying it's glorified for it? I've already spoke about this earlier. It's a gal. You know what a gal's like? Is it really surprising? Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's a gal. Um, yeah. Aspie's the best right back that Chelsea have had in their Premier League. And there's arguments to throw Ivanovic in there as well. For me personally, I, I think it's got to go to Aspie. Aspie is the guy. Aspie is a legend. He's legendary status, my man. Yeah, you like the singing? You like the singing, yeah? Big up to my guy Dylan in the house as well. Come on, my bro. Champions of the world. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. We are the champions, bro. We are the champions. Egal, exactly. I'll drink his tears. I haven't responded to him. We are, and I'm going to say it again. We are the second team in England to win the world treble. The only other team that's done that was Liverpool in 2019. We have won the Super Cup, the Club Winners' Cup, uh, sorry, the Club World Cup, and the Champions League all at once. Second team. Again, putting our names in the books. Putting our names in the stars. We've won it all. We have won it all. And I've been able to see us lift every trophy. I can die a happy man tomorrow knowing that I have seen my football club win everything. Everything. And there's not one thing anyone else can tell us. Make sure you smash the like buttons, guys. Let's get this over 100 likes. Get this over 100 likes, please, guys. Subscribe if you're new as well. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're on our road to four, um, what are we on? 4.3K. We're on our road to 4.5K subscribers. So please subscribe if you're new to the channel. The lines are going to be open shortly for you guys. Facts, bruv. Come on. Big up to you, my man. Big up to Ali as well. Says, I love Chelsea. Big up to you, my guy, as well. We move from this beautiful picture of Roman Abramovich. And we now move on to... We're nearly there. I'm nearly done. I know it sounds like I'm not even talking about the game. Because I'm not. I'm not. We're going to talk about the game in a bit. We are going to revert back to what we just said quickly. Cesar Ascolopeta has officially become the first player in Chelsea history to win every major trophy trophy available to him at the club. Champions League, Premier League, Europa League, FA Cup, Super Cup, Club World Cup. And look at this beautiful picture. If you can't see it already, look at that beautiful picture, guys. It's, it's just amazing. Just look at all that silverware. Look at all that silverware. Big up to Aspie, man. Big up to Aspie. Big up to my guy. Big up to him. We move from Aspie. And I've got one more one more thing. Yeah, th this is just funny, man. I've got I've got to show you this. This is just pure. This is pure bants. This is just pure bants. <laughs> Oh, man, this guy, I swear, Chelsea Football Club, the board, the board, please, 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 please give this guy what he wants, yeah? Not, don't let him take the piss out of us. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against him taking the piss out of us. But please negotiate something, man, because he was great today. He was very good today. I wouldn't say he was a typical Rudiger performance, but he was awesome. And boy, can that guy run. Boy, can that guy run and with his straight back like this. I've never seen someone run with such a straight back and run so quick at the same time. He moves so quick. He's like this. He's, he's just a character and we need this at our football club. We, we, it looks like we're going to lose Aspie. It looks like we're going to lose Christensen, potentially. You know, it's... We need to keep this guy. We can't keep, we can't keep losing players, people. We need Rudy. 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 Who day get that blimming contract sorted, Marina? Get it sorted, Roman. Roman was there today. He watched it. He watched that. Come on, my man. Uh, Dylan says we need that contract. We do, bro. We need that contract. 200k a week. This talks about that he wants 200 to uh, anything around 225k a week. Um, check Barclays Insta story. No, I can't do that. Do you know what, though? Look at this little cheeky smile. Forget Rudiger's smile. Look at this. Forget Kovacic. Look at this. Look at this. Look at him. Look at this. The deceiver. He doesn't do anything. Doesn't play. But he's won the Champions League. He's won the Super Cup. And he just won the club. He's just won the Club World Cup. 
This guy's just getting paid five million a year to not do anything and just win. Just be a, a member. The Deceiver, Barkley. Look at him. Look at that grin. He ain't going nowhere. That grin tells me. <laughs> I'm laughing when I'm saying it. That grin. That grin tells me. That grin tells me he's going, I'm going to run my contract down. I ain't going anywhere. Why am I going to leave? I don't have to play. I can just get, I can just keep the money that they pay me, which is stupid because I'm not going to get it anywhere else. And I can just continue winning trophies because when I do leave this football club and I do retire, I can say I won this, this and this with Chelsea. But I didn't do anything. I'm just going to grin. I'm just going to sit at the back. My people like Kovacic and Rudiger are just chilling and James. And I'm just going to grin because no one can kick me out. <laughs> oh, shit. And look at Rudiger. I love it. What is this? <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm a bit vexed at the moment. You're probably thinking, what's wrong with Jem? Why, why is he so hyped? I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped up. I am hyped up. Listen, guys, over 270 of you guys here already. Make sure that we smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to GNA TV as well. We're on a road to 4.5k subscribers. Over 250 here. We're going to open up them lines. Big up to Red White, uh, Red White and Company Blues. I think that's Jester, isn't it? Big up to Jester. Ice cold beverages. Big up to you. Barkley with the gangster grin. Bear annoying, isn't it? Uh, Kennedy won the Club World Cup. He, he also liked Alonso. And, like Alonso is a trophy away from completing football. Why do you have to say shit like this to me? I don't, I don't care. I generally don't care. I do because it's like he's having the last laugh, but we move. Mason Mount has hurt his ankle ligaments badly. How badly? I've had ankle ligaments damage and it's, um, yeah, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Nobody can tell us we don't have history. No one can tell us we don't have history. We're going to open up them lines in a second. I'm just going to quickly talk about the game because I've not managed to do that. And I do want to talk quickly about the game. Um, Two seconds. And then we're going to open up the lands. We're going to open up them lands. And we're going to talk to some of the panel. And we're going to celebrate the win. All right. Quickly. Let's quickly jump on this. Keep getting them likes up, guys. I want over 100 likes, please. Let's do that. Let's get it over to 100. Let's start quickly. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm not talking about the defence. I'm not talking about Thiago Silva's handball. I can't. Miss, I just can't be asked. Yeah. Edouard Mendy, no. I want to just delve into the midfield and the forward line, all right? We're going to quickly jump on N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante's performance, I thought he was very average today. I don't think he was as shocking as people said, but he wasn't the same. He wasn't the same N'Golo Kante who dominated the fight previous finals that we were in. Very wasteful with the ball, lost the ball a couple of times, and we struggled. In this game, it was not a pretty one to watch. It really wasn't pretty to watch. We wasn't, you know... We wasn't dominating the game. We're dominating in terms of control and position, but we wasn't doing much with it. You know, we do have an issue, guys, though. I'm telling you, we do have an issue. The issue that we have at the moment is how we are so slow. I can predict what we're going to do before we do it. Like, I genuinely can see the pass before we do the pass. And that's really bad. We allow the opposition to get back into position and we don't move the ball quickly. And part of the reason why that is happening is because our midfield, Kante, Kovacic, whoever that's playing, don't look forward enough quickly. They pick the ball up. Him and Kovacic today. Kovacic was guilty of it as well. And he's usually very good at progressing with it. He picked the ball up and he played it backwards. We had Thiago Silva playing as a central midfielder. He was literally that far up the pitch. Palmeiras were not interested in pushing or chasing down Rudiger or Thiago Silva, if you watched it. They were more worried about blocking out the forwards, Peter's players behind, and limiting the space than they were actually pressing against people like Thiago Silva. And part of the reason that's happening is because our midfield are just not creating enough from it. They're not helping. You know, they're not helping. And N'Golo Kante wasn't great, unfortunately, for me personally. Yeah, I know, Daniel, bro. I know I've seen it. I have seen it. He's He has an ankle sprain. It depends how bad the damage is on time. Some injury, the same injury as Pulisic, as Pulisic James and the car who had. Oh. Big up to Josh, man. Big up to ZVO Genius as well. Fell asleep so many times. I missed half the game. Yeah, bro, it's boring. It was boring. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing a full rating here. I'm just quickly going through some quick individual players and we open up the lines. So that was N'Golo Kane. My thoughts on N'Golo Kane is the same as Mateo Kovacic. I want to talk more about the forwards because... They are too inconsistent. Callum Hudson-Odoi, he had a stinker today. I don't care what anyone says. This guy 
had a stinker. I was being told it's because he wasn't getting enough of the ball. Nonsense. Got nothing to do with that for me. It's got nothing to do with him not having enough of the ball. He had enough of the ball. He was giving the ball away. He was so negative when he did get the ball. Yeah, he wouldn't take players on. And when he did take a player on and got down the wing and used his left foot, he set up a goal. I needed him to do more of that. Yes, he cut in, in the first half a couple of times and whipped some balls in the back post. But he was losing the ball. He didn't want to track back. And he just, you know, whether it, he, I'm getting, I'm, I'm running out of patience with him because he's, the reason I've, I'm so critical of him is because I know he's such a good player. I put him up here in terms of, of, of how good he actually is. Like his ability is, is amazing, but he doesn't show it enough. You know, he's so inconsistent. Him and Ruben Loftus-Cheek are very inconsistent players. They do not, you know, they have all the talent. But what what limits people like Cho and uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek is themselves. Them. We can't keep making up excuses. Oh, it's because we played him there. Oh, it's because when he would play behind, you know, he, he didn't get the ball. Oh, it's because the defender farted on him. It's, it's always an excuse for him. He needs to be taking his chances. He has to. And we need more from him. And I know he's not a wing-back. But I've seen him play in that wing-back position this season and be very good. Tottenham. You know, all right, it was in the 4-2-2-2. Two, 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 but he was still holding the wing. You know, he's not, not, not that much difference. Especially when the team's not really pressing out as well. You know, I need more from Kalamatsu Nadoi. You know, my patience is running slowly with it. Plastic Matt, big up to Alpha as well. Um, we need a new midfield. Uh, yeah, big up everyone. Big up. Cho was Bambi on ice. Yeah, and he got taken off for it, you know, and that's the truth. 68 likes, guys. Over 250 of you here. Let's get them likes up, please. Let's get this over 100 likes. Why are you watching me? You see that little thumbs up? Hit it. Hit it for the champions of the world. If you are proud of your team today, yeah, if you are proud of what we did, Hit that like button if you haven't already. Let's see how quickly we can get this to 100. Big up to everyone. Let's move away from Kalam hudson Adoy. Quickly move on to um, Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz is the best on earth. I love that song, man. Even though it's just so funny, it winds up rivals. Mr. Clutch. That's what I'm going to call him now. Mr. Clutch. Because every time... We have a big game against the team or, or we're playing someone, uh, you know, playing the final. Man like Kai Avert steps up and he and he and and he's accounted for. And yes, we know he's not consistent. Yes, we can look at his stats and assists and it's not good enough. I agree. I agree. I'm not going to hide from that. But this guy, I'm telling you, is the future of this football club. His ability on the ball, his pace, he everything about Kai Avert is just so just good. I think he's good. I really, really do. And yes, he, he went missing today in the game. There was a moment where it went a bit ghosted and whatever. And I do think it was more more of just a, a whole forward thing. It wasn't just him. They all sort of ghosted out of it. That needs to improve. To be a world-class player, you have to be consistent. And you have to and you have to be, I want to say, oh, like, available the whole game in terms of actually, you know, being the main point. But actually being you know, playing to your strengths. Like, for example, like, you can't, like, Kalam Asadoy, you play for 20 minutes, you're really well, and then the other 30 minutes, you're gone. Like, we need consistency on these players when they're on the pitch. And Kai Havertz needs to step up more because he has that ability. He's so talented, it's ridiculous. 22 years old, Champions League club, you know, club winners, uh, club World Cup winner as well. You know, scored both the goals. All right, one was a penalty, so had to do it. Top player. And today, first off, I would like to everything about him. Against Al Hilal, very good. At the beginning of the second half of that game, he was good and then he fizzed out of it. I think there's more of a system thing, why these players slowly do fizz out of things, personally. I don't think we move the ball quick enough. I do think the midfield are too negative. They don't want to look for the forwards. They always want to play the easy ball, keep the game. We're winning 1-0. We don't have that killer instinct. But these play these forwards need the ball to be fed to them. They want that killer instinct. So, yeah. Big up to Kai Havertz for doing that, man. Big up to him. Super Cup winner as well, Josh. That is true. Super Cup winner as well. All right, quickly, before I open up the lines, which is going to be straight after this one, Romelu Lukaku. I know people are going to want me to talk about him quickly. His overall game was still not great for me personally. 
Um, was it his worst game? No. He scored a very good header. Great header, actually. Top corner. Good finish. We want more of that. Is his touch still really piss poor? Yeah. You know, is is he... Is he a nuisance? Is he enough of a nuisance up front? Is he doing enough to be able to say, look, I need to be on the pitch? I don't think so, still. I don't think his overall game's there. And when you score in a big game like that and you don't celebrate, like he didn't. I just, I don't get your mentality. You've got people like Kai Everts and that running around, ripping their shirts off. This guy scores a goal and he's like this. They're all slapping him. Come on. And he's just like, I saw the picture of him. I watched it back. It's like he's always pissed off of himself. You know, he had the big eyes on him today with Roman Bramovic. You know, he had to get that goal. You know, but his overall game wasn't great. And it's not just him. It's not just him. But he is our £100 million striker. And we need consistent performances from him. We need him to step up. If he continues scoring goals, but he still has a shit touch, but the goals are winning us games, then you can't argue. Because he's doing what he's meant to be doing, which is winning us games. But if he's not scoring enough goals... And he's not. And if he's not scoring, he's not affecting the game in any way. He's actually just becoming a burden. Then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. Today he held the ball up okay. Sometimes played the ball in here and there. Still too static in the box. No, he doesn't move enough. Even when you look at that goal, it was very like you know it had to go land directly on his head for him to score it. But it's a great goal, and that's what I want from him. Good header. Good header. But still. Need more from him. Still need more from Kai, uh, not Kai, but Romelu Lukaku. Right, link is in the chat. There we go. The link is in the chat. Come on, we got, we're 19 likes away from um, 100 likes as well. Let's get that up. Please subscribe as well. I pinned it, pinned it as well. So if anyone wants to come in and celebrate, remember the rule. Remember the rule when we come in, when the panel comes in. We are going to sing the song. Before we even start talking about football and this, that and the other, we are going to sit and we are going to sing. We are the champions. We are the champions of the world. All right. So, Redneck, Abs, get Grable Thinner. Guys, there's not anyone else here yet, but how you still? Wait a sec, Eric. Eric's here as well. Hey guys. Eric's here as well, guys. Gem, can I yes. do one thing real quick? Go on. Oh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? Kai have it the best on us. That's all enough. Germany, he needs. He 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 we'll he see the Champions League. No, no, yeah. you know what it is. I can't oh. name. For months, and I know you've been part of Havertz FC club as well. For months, he's been getting shit from these fucking from these fans saying putting some bums like Emil, Emilia kill Flo in the same sentence as him. People really trying to disrespect my star boy, my star boy, you know. That is King Kaiser Kai Kaiser. Havertz. No, I, I'm critical of him, but, but he deserves no. props today. He's King Kai no. today. Of course, of course. Not criticism is strange, but people are trying to tell me we should sell this guy. That he's not good enough. That he's some sort of next level bum. He's never going to hit them levels. Kai Havertz is one of the most talented players in the Premier League and the most talented youngster at Chelsea Football Club. And people need to get this through their heads. This guy is yeah, going to the very top of world football. I'm sorry, my voice has kind of gone because I was screaming with my guys at the pub. <laughs> Kai Havertz is going to be a world footballer and a Chelsea legend. And you can clip this and hold me to it. Kai Havertz, it's nothing bad to say about him. Stepped up in another high pressure, crucial clutch he's moment. He's Mr. Clutch, I told you. I think he's, he's an icon. I'll give him a... You know he's an icon, okay. would he? Gem, do you know what it is? He has more final goals than Thierry Henry and Arsenal man when a chat to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run with that. Let's run with that. Mr. Clutch, yeah, that's, like that. that's his name for me now. Mr. Clutch, no one can argue with that. All right, he don't score enough or assist enough, but in the big games, Mr. Clutch steps up. You know, does his bit. It is what it is. I mean, what are you saying, uh, Mr. Alex? Still excited? Still happy? Champions of the yes, world? Yes, I'm running. I'm running the riots. I'm running the riots. Somebody said a joke saying that, uh, uh, am I happy that Chelsea won a trophy before Russia invaded the Ukraine? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was yeah. like, if I go and we're taking everything, if including, every, including Arsenal. But uh, look, 
Egal, I'm gonna troll this guy until the end of the world. Put Egal, yeah, on, put them e- on, put them all on, fuck them all. <laughs> hey, they all need to be put in a spliff. Do you know what? It's so funny, right? The people that are actually questioning what Chelsea have done are, 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 are support teams that are never going to see this, this or even play in these yeah. tournaments ever. This is like funny, said, isn't it? It's, 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 it's like if you really, really think about it, to get to that tournament, to get yeah. to that tournament. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, somebody said it that, it, that it's a riot in in Brazil. There's started riots because Palmieri lost it. There's riots over there, and the guy said it's a friendly. What the hell, friendly? You know what's crazy? You see what I'm saying? Like how, he said how he's you... going onto Wikipedia and yeah. trying. To I know. It. Yeah, he... Some Scottish Wikipedia, guy. You can or you can you can oh. edit you can edit Wikipedia oh. yourself oh, from your computer. Tell him, I'm gonna tell him. No, but Jim, Jim, anyway, when it comes to Arsenal, man, whenever like they say as well, what do you think about this? Terry's, he goes on Terry's and says these stupid things. It's stupid. Bro, Arsenal are four club, they're four club, they're not is, big. My thing is, is like, it was Arsenal in that championship. When Arsenal, I think they're beating Man City. Like, come on. You think they're even getting to the final? Do you think they're even gonna qualify this year? Fuck Arsenal fans. I don't know why you're wasting your time on it, y'all, to be honest with you. They're Fords. Yeah, are, are the football club and their fans are Fords. Exactly. And this is why I tell everyone, Arsenal are the club I hate the most. Because their you. fans got the Fuck most. Them. That's what I say. Fuck them all. No, shit, we, we got we to run it now. We have to run it. Oh, Biggest club in London. What? The it champions of the world. Not. It's no joke anymore. Only three clubs have done it. Liverpool. It's no joke anymore. Man, 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 I don't give a fuck. No, Man United ain't done it. It's only Liverpool. Club 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 I'm saying no, it's it. 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 only Liverpool and Chelsea have done it. Are we, have done it. We are champions. Man United ain't done it. And what more better than Arsenal? Oh, All right. Listen, I'm going to go real quick because I got to head to the mall real quick with my girl. But I just want to take that moment to say big up Roman and Tuchel, bro. Big up Tuchel because that motherfucker keeps winning. You can't even hate on him. People try to look when the score was 0 0 and 1 1. Keep on winning. People were like, Look at Tuchel. He's bottling it. He's bottling it. And now we won. Tuchel's the greatest manager. Blah, blah, blah. No, go suck a dick, bro. I, I see the I see just the look, press. Just, I that's see just say, look, Kelly, was... just look at this smile, bro. Look, 20 years later, you know, he's still in love. Look at him. Look at the right. love in the his face. The best owner, man. Listen. The best owner in the world, he, he's the be- And I said it on it. He's the best owner. There's not one champ. You ask any Man United, uh, 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 any unbiased Man United fan, Arsenal fan. Yeah, it's Liverpool fan. They take him in the heartbeat. They, they wouldn't even. They would take him tomorrow. <laughs> Other than City fans, because their recent owners are the shit. You can ask anybody in the top six, and they'll say Roman's the best uh the best I mean, chairman the, the city, the, the city, owner the city existed. owners, the city owners, they great because they put the money. But yeah, for me, but he's, he's, he has that, know, he has that, like a, he's a football fan. Order for he's a, he's a football fan in the first place. I like the guy been playing football when he was young. That's his favorite sport. He always been in, uh, invested in the football. He always, always, always yeah. watching Chelsea. There's yeah. not been. When he would watch it, I mean, I'm about to head out. 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 I'm close to what 28 years of age. That means I, I started like actually actively remembering football from the time I'm like 04, 05. I've seen this club lift it all Carabao, Club World Cup. Super Cup, Champions League twice, Premier League. Everything, brother. Everything. 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 We could go on a fucking, God, I hope we don't. We could go on a 10-year drought and no one can take that shit from any of you. This club or its players. Big up the fucking fans. Big up the Chels. Big up that man on the fucking screen right there because without him, I I would say with chess, we wouldn't be where we're at. Yeah, I hope all of you celebrate today because if it was Arsenal fans... If it was any other fan base, they would be fucking singing it. Yeah, the next exactly game they bro. played in the Premier League, champions of the world, you never sing that. So I hope we sing that shit. I just Facts. Sing that shit. Facts, bro. Tell him again. 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 You know, bro, the next is zero. I'm take care of it. Hard. Ali, we'll big up good. to you, my man. Big up to you. Champions of the world, bro. Enjoy it. Enjoy it is what I'm going to say. They, they yes, celebrate so. Leeds against Wolves. 
winning against the Bulls, <laughs> like they won those Club World Championship, mate. They're embarrassing. Hey, yo, Jeff, Get them out listen, of it. Listen, do you know what it is, man? Because I was at the pub with some of my guys. I basically said, I'm going to take the day off the day of who's dreaming and stuff. I'm going to go watch it. Trust me, when that Havertz penalty went in, I was off my Oh, man, it was mad. But tomorrow, I have a probably pattern this for certain things. But yeah, this is we're the champions of the world, bro. No one can chat to us. No one. No one. Hey, not even, not even get up. back into the league. What are you saying, Eric? I hope we can get back into the league, guys, so we can take over Man City somehow. So yeah, but... get to the right. Yes, my man. Yes, yes, yes. What was, what was your, what was your thoughts? Huh? What was your thoughts on the game, mate? What was your thoughts on the game? Oh, oh, oh right. For me to like play, baby. Well, concrete was like a oh, bit, bit too so that that I can yeah. like see it on my TV. So I have to like watch it for my Google. And you know that concrete did not like. Keep in the point that he didn't go a lot more aggressive on the Pomerad players. And for right, I'm the happy for it. Can you have a goal that one? Yeah. Yeah, it was a great it was a great goal from Kai Havertz as well. Boy. Listen, Kai Havertz, without Kai Havertz's yeah. goal, mate, we we wouldn't be where we are. I mean, Kepa. He's a new Didier Drogba clutch moment player. He is. He's, a new, he's the new, bruv. He is the new. I'm telling you. That's why I'm calling him Mr. Clutch from now. People won't like it, but it's facts. Mr. Mr. Clutch. Deal with it, people. Deal with it, people. Nick I Blue's see, in the I ass. See, <laughs> I see a cat in the guy's hand. Hide it from... Uh, uh... Champions of the world. We know what we are. Champions we of the we world. Are. We know what we are. <laughs> the champions. I think we need a new song now. He's not champions. I think of it's Europe. a troll or something. Champions yeah. of the world now, chaps. Say it loud. Um, say it loud. Literally. Roma, 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 La Kaku. La Kaku. Not La Kaka. La Kaku. No, you said La Kaku. And yeah, I said right. Look, but, uh, not, uh, um, you know, uh, you know what I've been doing lately. I've been uh, blocking and uh, reporting people uh, calling Lukaku names because it's not a, it wasn't a good idea. So just to verify that. Nick, anyway. Nick, just it's about the game. Come on, what are you saying? Are you, how, so, I mean, obviously, you're uh, yeah, 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 I was. Yeah, it was great to win it. You know, especially when I saw Roman in the stands and how. You know, he was there. It was great. Great for I'm very happy for him and for us. Yeah, the first half, you know, as you know, it was a bit dodgy. And, uh, you know, every time uh, Cho got the ball, he was losing and all that. It wasn't great performance. Yeah. But then at least, you know, see what, he, you know, show what he can do. If, he's, if he does that more often, Lukaku you know, will get more goals. I'll see, see you, Jim. I'm leaving. No, uh, sorry. sorry, guys. See you guys. Stay there. Where you going? Yeah, I was saying, yeah, if Cole could play, you know, he has to get get out of his game or he won't, he won't be here next year. He has to get better. He was poor, Nick, wasn't he? Where he, he poor? Yeah, I... He done one good thing that was a cross to Lukaku. That's one cross in the whole game. That was, uh, it's not good. No, he wasn't good. Yeah. And, um, I have to get a Rudiger was a very good, for me, man of the match. <laughs> of course he is for you. No, he was. <laughs> yeah, really good was he felt, to be Silva honest. Was he was. Silva. Silva was great as well. He was just... Well, no, he got ball, ball, didn't he? But, you know. I'll be honest. I think Rudiger should have won the best player of the tournament, not Silva. As good as Silva yeah. is. Yeah, they're both Because great. he gave away that, no, no, he gave away no, that penalty. No, so. yeah. no I, disagree. I disagree, bro. Thiago Silva is the best centre-back in the Premier League. And was our best in player. Europe. He's the best centre back in the world right now. At his age, imagine. He yeah. is. He is. Yeah, he is. But uh, Rudiger was like, for me. Rudiger was one of the match today. But uh, you know, because he covered for Cho so much. You see, you know, that's why yeah, you know, yeah. he was. You know, he was there all the time. Cho was up 
on the week uh, Rudy Gobble was covering. He covered uh, both sides actually. Both sides. He was yeah, a superb. Right. Yeah, it's a I'm just happy we won in the end. You know, great, great penalty by Havertz. Bloody old man. Yes. That was a yeah. George that was great finish. That was a great, great finish. Great finish. Yeah. Kaiser of us, make sure you get it. Kaiser, Kai Havertz. It's he is the Kaiser. He is Chelsea's Kaiser. And also, yeah. man, I have to speak about someone because I said this a few months ago and I got cooked. Cesar Aspinacuera. He is the best right back in Chelsea history in terms of the Premier League era. That I love Branagh. I love Branagh, and everyone here loves Branagh, but he's better than Branagh. I'm sorry, he's he's a Ooh, better leader than Branagh. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? As- what are you talking about? That's it's, about, it's all about Abramovich and uh, oh, Abramovich, of course. No, 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 Iv- Ivanovich. Oh, Ivanovich. Yeah, Ivanovich. Yeah, yeah. Ivanovich, uh, Ivanovich was great, but Aspen Aquesta is something else, I think. Yeah, Aspen Aquesta right. yeah. No, is the answer, mate. It was a poo game, to be honest. I thought we were quite poor. No, I mean, no. every game. This, I this, to me, you this can't game say that we won the bloody game. You can't, you know. I can was, say that. It was a hard game. It wasn't an easy team. We played it. Yeah, 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 great, but we got the win, bro. That's the most important yeah. thing. We got the yeah, win. No, the is, uh, it's not always. The finals are usually not exciting games, as you know. The no. finals are always dodgy. Yeah, we done well. We fought for it and we won it. So you know, I'm glad for. We were everyone. lucky. We got a penalty to win. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, like, look, uh, the reason I said we didn't play well is because I think even though they sat back and they did sit back and their game plan was perfect, I still think we were very slow with the ball. Like we just we we were our own downfall sometimes in the midfield. We don't move the ball quick enough to the forwards, and like we could have maybe you know we should have been maybe two up. I think in that game personally, they they sat back. They had a moment where they came out and. They look quite good, don't get me wrong, but you know, I just feel like we we, we it's it's like we attack Jim. I thought we dominated, to be honest. Yeah. I've, yeah, I think we completely dominated this final. We dominated, dominated the ball, you know, not the, the the chances. We didn't have so many chances. Dominate, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Dominate doesn't mean you have in the ball. You know, you know, you could have we always yeah. have the ball. It's just what do we do with the yeah, ball? The- that's yeah, that's right. Mas is my problem. I think most of our attackers aren't good enough. They're not Chelsea level. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I think Havertz, Lukaku, Mount, and maybe Ziyech is he's on good form. And that's no, but, it. The no, but you know what it is? What we have to do is we also have to give credit because obviously we have to give credit. Oh, my voice coming back now. <laughs> uh, we, we, the way we play football is very predictable. It's like what you said there. We move the ball too slowly. We are so slow with the ball, especially when you're playing the back three. Like we, yeah, exactly. so, I can see us making the passes before we do it. I'm sitting there. Exactly. Yeah, we're absolutely. too predictable. Yeah, it's <laughs> too predictable. we're very predictable. That's why you know it has to change. I don't know what Tuchel's going to do, but I'm sure he's going to get a few players in and a, a few big guys out in the summer. That's yeah, yeah, you know, I thought <laughs> to be honest, you know who our man of the match was though. I'll say one thing: you see Palmeiras. Yeah, I have to give them credit because they were fantastic today. Was, yeah, was, yeah. And and as well, and obviously, I, I couldn't really hear them. But from what I heard from the TV, obviously, it sounded like their fans were really up for it. So, you know, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd they're listen. fanatical. Uh, yeah, and, exactly. uh, you know, fanatical. Brazilian fans were crazy. Pulisic had a good game, though, didn't he, as well? Yeah, Pulisic, Pulisic was great when he came on. I think he was mixed for me. Good. He missed two. Sh- yeah. He should have scored one of those chances. Yeah, but he like played that, well. He played very well. Who was your man? Our, our, our forwards don't score enough. Yeah. Don't score enough yeah. half oh, chances. Oh, you know who was? You know who really was a good though today. And I don't like saying this, but we have to. And God or can't say. I don't think he was great today, especially in the first half. He wasn't very good. I don't think Cover was good either, to be honest. I would say Kante yeah, yeah. was worse, but I, I, don't think yeah, I thought neither were poor. I no, thought both were poor. Kovacic, yeah. Kovacic was better, but Kante was... But n- neither were good, but Kovacic was the better out of the two. Kante wasn't great. Maybe it's just him trying to come back from his injury. Hopefully he can start picking up form because we're going to need him from now to the end of the season, especially in the final against Liverpool. Is it just me or does Kante seem slower? No, no, he's, not, no he's not slower. He's, just, he, like, like, he's still he fast, up, he's up but he's not... Pitch. He was up and down he's still fast, it. don't get me yeah. wrong, but I, I don't think he's as fast as he used to be. His passing is not that accurate, if you would like to say, at the moment. But he, he's up and down, you know, uh, if you watch it, he's up and down, uh, defending and attacking. That's I think he's lost a bit. I think he's lost a little bit of pace, that's my opinion. But yeah, he hasn't only played, a little he's bit. Played, 
He played uh, one and a half games, hasn't he? Since uh, it's Hassan, it's, I'm just trying to say Hassan, Hassan, are you here? Who's that? Sorry, give me two minutes, Jeff. I'm throwing up on my mate. All right, mate. No worries. I don't know if he was there or not. All right, so who's your man of the matches then? Because uh, for me, I know Rudig I know Rudiger's is Knicks, but who is your actual man of the matches? Um, Aspi. Aspi, yeah, not bad. Start. Oh, no, I'm going to go Rudiger actually. Uh, yeah, what's Rudiger? Uh, you, you I think Rudiger was superb. Yeah. Uh, mine was Kai Havertz, man. A cap how much you can say because he he won us the uh, the cup, so you, you can't say that, yeah. Yeah, but, he yeah. did. I thought Abbott's. I know some people saying he don't think he was. I thought he was all right today. I no, guess. he was. He was good. I thought he that's, was why, that's why. That's why. That's why I said Abbott and Lukaku can, you know, start playing. You know, they're getting together better lately. So they what though? Before, before Lukaku's goal, the two worst players for me on the pitch were Kalamats and Adoy and Lukaku. I thought they were poor. Man. Yeah, they've not but, been good for a while though. They've not. Neither one have been good for a while. That's the thing. Yeah, but Lukaku's not getting the ball. He has to get the ball to do something. No, he got the ball and he, he was bouncing off his foot again. But don't get me wrong. Uh, he not had a couple... that, not that there bad. was one. That... He it, wasn't that it, bad. It, <laughs> yeah, it, it, what about that one where he was one and one and he's like, in the first. He punted it in front of him. You know, he, he didn't get that many chances today. Yeah, but the one, the one yeah. chance he got, he put it in. So. Yeah. If we were honest, even though we won, I'd say Tuchel got it wrong today with the lineups. Do you agree? Do you think the yeah, was... I do. I do agree. I think I'm. Um, uh, I think Zierk was injured though. Now Zierk should have started instead of Mount though. Yeah, but no, yeah, well, are you yeah. sure Zierk wasn't injured? Is he didn't he didn't come on till extra time? Uh, Zierk was uh, wasn't injured. He was on the bed. He came on. He was. Oh yeah, you know, like right, a little right. knock or something. I would have. Uh, you know what? Call me stupid. I would have gone with Alonso at wing back and then just played Cho in the forward line. That's what we thought was going to happen. Every time we think Alonso is 100% played, suddenly it's choked. Uh, he's, yeah, he's unbelievable. Be, you know what it is? Because Alonso, to be fair, wasn't... Oh, man, this is game bad. Alonso, to be fair, wasn't bad against... Uh, what was it? He wasn't bad against Al Hilal. So I wouldn't have given him... Oh, I disagree play. with that. I thought it was awful. I was no, but he, he, he played he, cold. He, was, but he wasn't like... He wasn't the worst player on the pitch that day. There was a lot of players who probably had a shout being worse. Well, let's, yeah. have a little talk, let's have a little talk about Thomas Tugel because in his years that he's the year or over a year that he's been here, he's won the Super Cup, he's won the Champions League, and he's won the club, the club, obviously the FIFA Club World Cup. He's got he's got a Carabao Cup at the end of this month as well because we're still in the FA Cup and we're still obviously defending the Champions League as well, right? So where do we where we where, I know it's a bit early to start talking about this, but where where do we rate him in terms of managers? Currently at the moment, Chelsea and, and rankings. He's top three. Second. I think he's no, second. No, he's, he's second he's to top. Marino, only because he no, no, hasn't no. won the he's, league. Yeah, once he gets the league, once he gets the league, he'll be past Marino. He no, 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 I've got a question. Yeah. If he wins a second Champions League, but doesn't win the league, does he get ahead of can he get ahead of Marino? I don't think so. No, he has no, to no, win no, the league. league. Have to yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I think he leaves the league title. Yeah, but he's done great. One year, look, one year he's been here today. One year on the spot today, yeah, exactly. and he's won us uh, two trophies, and we're in another one in two weeks' time. Three. So, you know, three trophies. Two weeks' time, isn't it? The League Cup. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But you know what it is? Let me just say one thing about Tuku, though. Tuku has officially surpassed Antonio Conte because people were trying to tell me that Conte is still above Tuku. That bull pagan is nowhere near him. Um, I'd still put Carlo just above him because Carlo did win the double. Yeah. It's right. so for me in, in, in order it's Jose, Carlo, and then um uh, Thomas Tuku. And yeah, if he I, think, win... uh, I think I think because he's only one year and he's won two trophies, for me he's above above Angelo uh, uh Angelotti at the so, moment. Yeah, so Thomas Tuchel was the first manager in Chelsea history to win the, the Club World Cup. 382 days in charge, three trophies. Unbelievable, in the man. Yeah. Obviously. I want, yeah, exactly. FA Cup final as well, remember? So he's also got us to an FA yeah. Cup final. You know what's mad? We're really not playing well. We're, we're winning. Like, we're winning things. You know, it's just crazy. We've it? only lost four games all season. So That's Im it. Imagine if we start playing well suddenly. What's going to happen? When we do play, yeah. well, we're gonna we're coming for everything. But listen, this is all this shows is exactly what I've been saying. 
if this board do not back this guy and give him the players he wants, it's a criminal offence. It's a criminal offence, man. This guy is one of the best managers in the world. Give him the, everything he wants. I don't yeah. care. Every I think, I think, I, I think in the summer they will. Like, uh, they're they going to get a, get rid of a few players. And they, he's going to get his players. Get that, rid of everyone. Give him his he, players. Uh, Roman Abramovich said it already. He said, I'm back in Tuchel with everything. You know, whatever Tuchel wants. Yeah, yes. that's the thing. I think Roman and Tuchel have actually got quite a good relationship yeah. from what we're hearing now. Obviously, we've been backing him and stuff yeah, as well. Obviously, Bex is saying, I'd say Tuchel was our best man, and not, not just because of the trophies won, but also because of his man management, charisma, intelligence, how the how he handles the press, and how he elevates yeah. mid-players. Yeah, 100%. 100% Rebecca, yeah. That's right, cool. I, I really want us to see where we can go with this guy, because I know how this man is saying, Watch, but I really do think that we could this, this he could be the man to break That's it as well. That's very true. He's winning, he's winning, he's winning trophies with a squad that ain't really his health. When you think about it, and he, just came back from COVID. he just came back from COVID as well. Thomas Tuchel he comes yeah. back from COVID and wins a trophy. I'm sorry, listen, you have to give him all the money he wants, yeah, give it everything. everything. I don't care. He is the heir to the kingdom, give him the keys to the kingdom and more. Because that trust me, if you do, he will take us to places that not even chosen. It was, it was a party. We need a midfielder yeah. and a winger. We keep a Tuku have to give him what he wants. We're going Everything to okay. And yeah. Kunde. We need Kunde as well. Don't we? so, if that, if I think that's the first one that he's getting in the summer. If, the first if, 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 if Tuku wants my girl, he can have her. I don't care, man. <laughs> give him everything he wants. I don't care. Can, can, can I can have manage anyone? Girl? I'll have your girl if you want. Do you know why Roman was your hands? Yeah. Do you know why Roman was in Dubai? Because he was going to back Tuchel. He was there to see the performance of the team and see where the improvements on the pitch were needed. Is what Daniel was saying. He thinks that that it was a more of a, to see where where the squad was at. Obviously, Romelu Lukaku, you know, performing in front of uh, uh, Mr. Roman for the first time as well, had to step up. He got his goal, didn't he? It was um, a, a good goal as well. So we it was a good goal, yeah. It was a good finish. It was a good goal. Yeah, that was the uh, Callum Hudson the door. I was so shocked when the goal went in. His Callum's crossing was so bad. I kind of just switched off. And he got one. He had to get one, right? <laughs> he got one. And then, then Lukaku <laughs> stuck in there. So, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling before the game. Crazy. I was saying, if you know, keep uh, Lukaku will score today. I had a feeling, and if he stayed on, I think he would have made it to new and finished the game off. Before extra time, but I don't know why he came off. That's the thing. Was I don't he tired? Was, he was, he was, he was he injured? I don't know. He has well, played quite a lot of football. Timo, because Timo Maybe came he was on. Exhausted. And actually, yeah. No, and, and you know what it was? Timo came on and he was actually cooking. Like people talk about this guy just running in straight. He was. Yeah, he, he was roasting. You know, what, what was I roasting. would say, I thought his crossing was quite good. You know when he crossed. No, forget that. He was actually running around players. <laughs> he was actually skinning them. I'm not just I like, like Callum. I like Hudson Adoy. I know he got the cross, but I felt like Ziyech and Werner's crossing was way better than Callum's. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you know what's Werner? I'll say this about Werner, right? Werner is one of the most intelligent players out of our forward line. His football IQ compared to most of our forwards is next level. His problem is that it just doesn't translate in terms of his actual yeah, ability. Yeah, Jerry, his problem is the final touch. If exactly. he gets that final touch right, yeah, he's going to be a great player. But it's that final he's touch. He, player, he does everything, then the final yeah. ball, it doesn't yeah. go you know, yeah. right. Yeah, do you know what? I disagree. I think the final, I think if you're talking about making the right decision, he normally makes the right decision. The problem with Werner is when he makes yes. the right decision, it just, his problem is that it comes off as a good assist. Or it just comes off as one of the shots that goes sky high. If his finishing was a bit better, he could be a top player team or final. Technically, he's not all that. But in terms of his football IQ and his movement and his intelligence, people underrate him, man. Yeah, people say he has to get a lot... If, he's if selfless he's for me. Chills, he's got to get a lot better. Because he could be one of the best going. For, you know, I think, if he, unless he improves. I don't know. Yeah. So Kennedy, um, since coming to Chelsea, has obviously won the club win at World Cup. That's more than what Harry, that's more than what Harry Kane's done at Spurs in his yeah, career. Yeah, he's done at Liverpool. Kennedy getting a, a medal and Kane hasn't mm. got one. 
Harry Kane's a shrinking violet. Hassan, what are you saying? One second, Hassan. Can you guys hear me, yeah? Yeah, just about. You're a little bit. Why are you always so far away? No, 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 I don't know. I think my mic's done. All right. I can't connect to the screen yard or my headset, so that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, today's game, if you can hear me, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think if today's game is probably good. I think we were poor, to be honest. But if the game gave me um, vibes of the FA Cup, you know, like how we were just passing it sideways, lobbing it into the box, and stuff like that. Lukaku today, I actually wanted him to get a final goal. I actually wanted him to turn up, despite the memes and despite <laughs> what I say about him. And he's done well, but he went a bit quiet afterwards. A lot of our players did. I'm just glad that we won today. And yeah, I mean, World champions, man. What can you say? Don't let anyone take that away from you. And uh, what Igal says, let, 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 let him what, say what he wants to say. And um, there are only seven teams, but 82 Chelsea have been in history world champions. So just enjoy it while you can. There's enjoy been, it. Yeah, and I was going to quickly say, right, there's been people like Nick Blue, who are a lot older than us, have seen Chelsea fully, fully modded. Like on the verge of bankruptcy and going into like League One, was it at that time? Yeah, yes, the so, yeah. in League, uh, the, the old third division. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. us younger fans, right? We just need to be privileged. So, we've we come a long way. way. <laughs> You're right, Hassan. It's uh, unbelievable what uh, we achieved since Roman came here. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That's yeah, what Timo says to his haters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, something also, yeah, just drink it in, man. We never, we might never get this opportunity again. It's if Klaasroff, if Klaasroff <laughs> was here, he'd be kissing that. Imagine yeah. Klaasroff here oh, now. Shit, yeah, if Klaasroff was here, everyone better not have living hell. Don't, don't speak too loud because he might, <laughs> might be yeah, in but, the chat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I wonder what he would do if he sees that in front of him. Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. But what's next for Chelsea <laughs> is the next question, Mark. Let's have a look, shall we? What have we got next for Chelsea? Chelsea. We've got uh, Leo, then Crystal Palace. No, we've got yes. Palace. No, no, no. We've got, um, Palace we've got first, Crystal Palace. No, Leo, Leo got first. Crystal Palace, then no, Leo. Palace no, no, first. no, no. We've got oh, Palace. Right. Palace, then Leo. Palace so, first. we can have a look here. We can have a look here. We've got Palace on the 19th of Feb. Three o'clock kick off away. Not going to be an easy game to return into. And then we've got that Lille game. Chelsea versus Lille at Stamford Bridge. Uh, round of 16, first leg. And then, obviously, we did have Leicester next, but that's been postponed. And then we go straight into the EFL Cup. So, these are the last yeah. three games of the month that Chelsea Big have. games. Next three Big games, games are massive. Again. One, in, one right. in the Premier League, one in the Champions League, and one in the EFL yeah. Cup. So, one in each. So, there's a lot to really, play for really. Chelsea, you know. And then yeah, we've got lots to play for, lots of wins still. <laughs> Imagine if we finish up with five trophies. But look, just look at look how mad it is from second of March to the sixteenth of April. Look at them. Look at them games that we've got. Look at that run for the next two months: Luton, Burnley, Newcastle. Do you know what I mean? And then you have got um, Lille, Norwich, Brentford, Southampton, Leeds. Like points, winnable points, right? Yeah, we have got a great. They're all winnable. Every yeah, single game. Yeah. Yeah. Palace is winnable as well. Palace on that great. Probably the game that is dropping points and is maybe leads away. But other than that, we'll probably win all the others. Southampton weed off. Southampton weed off. If they're still on the same form, they win. Is they been very good lately? Yeah, Southampton very hard at the moment. They were very on top form. Southampton. We win at St Mary's more time than not, so we'll be fine. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah, we should. But I'm just saying they they are on form. We got, you know, we should be winning all the games, really. Yeah, but, yeah, they're all for me. Yeah, should be too good, good in all those games. Yeah, I mean, this. I, I, I don't know if you guys have seen Gal's comments on thing about it being like a yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim Paul Cap. I can stop laughing. I can stop laughing. Fans are fucking taking the piss. You see, everywhere you go, they they, they, they can only win the Tim Paul Cap or something. Well, yeah, what's yeah. Arsenal? Cherry, the uh, Cherry Shield is is like the bloody World Cup for them. That's all they came <laughs> for. Like, I love these bloody fun They make cups like league cups and all of that. But yeah, but you know what? Right? The same ones Jeff, you should, uh, Jeff, you should say, uh, tell the uh, girl uh, not to forget when he painted himself blue. 
So he's yeah. coming. Yeah. Right. I remember because I was there. Yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I was there. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Listen, listen, but at the end of the day, right? These Arsenal men let them chat their shit. No one cares about these rebel fans. No. At the end of the day, right? No, I don't we, care. I, just, I like to wind them up, you know, really bro, bad. Yeah, they can talk. They, 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 they can talk rubbish. They can chat their rubbish if they want to. At the end of the they, day, right? We are so, made. Yeah, they're no, jealous, no. man. They're so jealous they can't win one week and wearing finals every other week. Look at yeah, them. But we need to forget them. We have just made history, guys. Forget yeah. Arsenal. They're irrelevant. They, club, they can't even we, win the Europa League, mate. They're, they're dead. Oh, but this is my point. We need to move them to the side. They're not important. We've just they're made not history. On that. Yeah, we've made history, people. We've won our yeah, crop. Yeah. We have yeah, made history. Yeah, this is a big in our lifetime. Champions of the world. Champions of the world, not Europe now. The world, yeah. imagine. Yeah. Greetings from Bolivia. Big up to Bolivia. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Let's try and get this to 4.4k subscribers. If please hit the likes as well. Let's try and get this up to 150. Minerals Johnny yeah. yes, he said he's gonna come in. Thank you. Huh? Bring oh mineral mountain gym. Yeah, oh. Bring on Johnny. I'm, I'm waiting no, he's, for he's, Johnny. Today he's gonna come with a cat habits agenda. No, you won't. You come with a couple of things. I'm running that Taiwan. I'm running that Taiwan. I'm running that Taiwan. Was you guys shocked? Was you guys shocked to see Mendy in goal? No. 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 I wasn't shocked. Kepa will will be in going for the League Cup final. I'm sure Tuchel will give him that. No. 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 See, if anything, if anything, I would have rather had Mendy for that one than play Kepa today, but. Because he didn't have nothing to do, Mendy, really, today. But uh, you don't know how he's going to go. But uh, Kepa does deserve to get his, you know, player in a final. So if he's going to play, well, it's going to be the league cup, league cup for me. Last final he played in East conceded an absolute howler. Yeah, that was one. That one you can't. Uh, <laughs> that was one uh, chance. That's that, it. Wasn't a highlight. He couldn't get to the ball. But you know, look at the last picture. game. The semi final game was good. I love was Jorginho that injured, or is yeah. why didn't he play? Was he injured? He's not injured. I think he just well, chose, he just Probably. chose Kova and uh, Co and Kansi. is he brought on Saul? He brought on Saul, yeah, instead of uh, George. You know, I don't know. I was surprised when he brought on Saul. You know, yeah. I thought Jorginho played pretty decent to be fair. Yeah, he wasn't bad. Him. He wasn't that bad. Really? Cole Costello saying, I listen, shout out Everton as well because Frank Lampard's been doing a job there. Two wins now. Clean sheet as well. Slapped up Leeds, a very good Leeds team. So, oh, what a beautiful I... picture this is. Look at this one. You ready? Look at this one. Look at all the pictures. You got Aspie, Peter Cech, and, and the Queen herself. Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, the. Uh, the Palmeiras yeah, um, chairman is also a goal as well. Yeah, and they took yeah, a photo. I'm telling you, short, short time probably there's again. Yeah. Marina, Marina. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you where, know what's where's... even more funny? Yeah. Look at Christensen talking about his Barcelona contract in the corner. See him, look. <laughs> yeah. He's like, how much do you want? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe he's like, oh, I've changed my mind. I want yeah, to say Chelsea. Job, he was a very good one. The was there. He got a picture with. No, Didier was there as well. He got a picture with uh, Lukaku. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if uh, Christensen stays now. He hasn't I hope been he playing. stays. I, I, want I think stay. he might stay. I, I thought he'd be leaving, but now I've changed my mind. How beautiful this woman is, man. Yeah, Marina, Marina. Yeah. Yeah. Marina, Marina. <laughs> yeah, man. What, 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 a, what a big game. What a big game it was. I know there's a lot of fans playing it down to say it ain't that big of a trophy and... It doesn't mean much, and this. It's not know. that, Jim. It's not that. Even me, I was I was saying it's not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, how do you say? It? It's not that well well known in Europe as it is in you know in the continent. That's why you see all these Brazilians go crazy for it. It's the main, the big thing for them. It, it, you know, it's, it's big. It's a world. You know, but it's it's, get, it's going to get bigger next year when there's going to be more teams involved. It'd be, it's it's getting. It is, right? It's it getting bigger. The, you know, the, I was going to quickly say, I guess the title of World Champions so don't say anything. It's official. If yeah. you win it, officially World Champions, that's why everyone bigs the hope. Can you imagine Palmeiras winning down to be crowned World Champions? Yeah, of course. It's, that's what it's, for them, it's, it's a, a 
Yeah. Massive. I'm making up stories at the moment with this picture. You can see Marina, right, sitting there talking to Aspie and then Snaky Christensen behind her talking about contracts to Barcelona behind her back. Hey, look, also, at Jim, look at this. Look at this picture. Look at this right here. Two what Chelsea goals. Oh, that's sick. That is sick, man. That is sick. I need to find some more of these. These are fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, this is one thing I want to say, though, right? You know, the most successful clubs in the world, like Bayern Munich, the reason why they're successful is because they've got some of their ex-players who are in charge of getting the players involved. Yes. Exactly. So, if we, uh, I know we've got Czech involved. Um, if we could get someone like, you know, Didier involved more often in it, then it would, you know, help uh, out do, the Didier, he is involved in some way. He's an ambassador for us. So, you know, and uh, Balak is involved in a way. Not as big as Czech, but they, they are involved. Yeah, we have a few players involved. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello for hours. Oh isn't God, God, that's too one. funny. Have you seen the Chelsea Twitter page? They've absolutely trolled this guy. This is hilarious. Look at this one. Look. This is jokes. So this guy's re- I generally can't tell what Havertz is actually good at. And they just went winning, winning trophies. <laughs> Slacks. Anyone that slags off Kai Havertz, right? You are all in the mud. You were all so stuck in the mud, it's ridiculous, yeah? Oh, yeah. we should tell him. We should get rid of him. He costs 70 million, this, that, and the other. Bollocks, yeah? I agree that he's he needs to improve in his consistency yep. of his, like, games, like, in- assists and goals. But he is so important, mate. He is Mr. Clutch, I told you. Mr. Clutch is his new name. He needs work, but oh, we need to keep him, yeah. Say, right? I was going to quickly say, right, I, I, I know this is some rather fun to say, referee, but you don't have a player that covered them. Bruno, so start part. We'll start by then go missing when you need him the most. You better, you, you know, better say what you have to say because you've got two minutes. Then, then you can't talk because we're going to have a minimum on. Has Bruno even won a raffle ticket in his whole career? Bruno Fernandes. No, no, no. He won a few. I think he won the Portuguese FA Cup and that's about it. Well, I was about to finish off, but now he's coming in. We'll wait. We'll get <laughs> yeah, wait, wait for we'll John. <laughs> We're going to sing the champion song on me at the end. Spell. Yeah, we are. We are the champions. We are the champions of the world. world. Yeah. Yeah. We are, bro. No one can say shit. No rival can say shit. Yeah, none of them. I, it was so funny. I'm in the, I'm in one of the groups or the terrace, right? And they were saying that like Havertz is ghosting the game, and I was like, he's watching the same game or something. And then all of a sudden, he goes and scores. And I was just like, yeah, suck at that. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't. Ask these shit houses. It's is on another level. Man. Oh come on! What a poor way to win a cup. Complain about a handball, a couple of semi. Uh, hey, no, all I'm gonna say, right? United won by a flip. Barcelona won against Arsenal by a dodgy referee. Arsenal won the FA Cup because of dodgy referee. So what, man? It's football. How can you take that chance and you run? Uh, one, one thing I have to say for this Australian referee, he was great. He got everything spot on, and uh, yeah, the VAR is. A million times better than what we have here. I'll tell you. Both, if you both get these Australians balls. to referee. Uh, Jem, both are I was going yeah. to ask you, Jem, right? What do you think of the red card when he never gave it up first? Oh, yeah, it was a red card. Know. Listen, when Kai Havertz went down the way he did, I knew it was a fucking red card. Yeah, I was red card. Where he got the ball. But like, like I said... Balls. But like I said, listen, everyone's in the mud when it comes to Kai Havertz. I keep saying his new name is Mr. Clutch. Johnny Minerals is in the house as well. We We won it all. We won it all. We won it all. We won it all. Now we 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 have won it all. Let's have it right. World fucking champions. Chelsea Football Club completed the set. Come on, let's have it right. Kai Generational Havertz. Put every yeah. fucking hater in the mud. Fuck the mud, the cement, bruv. He's put them in the cement yeah. rules. Yeah? Helen, Kai Helen. Havertz, clear. Clear of Lukaku, bruv. Yeah? Oh, Absolutely bro. clear Surely of that number you nine. Can't mention, yeah? uh... Let's have it Come right. On, one, one night, we not Kai Havertz, yeah. Yeah. Kai Havertz <laughs> bruv. Let me tell you this. Yeah, Havertz is great. We there know is he's no great, doubt. Man, there is no question Come on. about Didn't it, bruv. Come on, didn't the goal today? You can hush your mouths. We don't Hush your mouths, yeah? Hush your mouth. They both scored clutch goals. Hush, hush your mouth. Guys, let me finish. Let hush finish. your mouth. Yeah. 
Let's have it right. Kai Havertz, bruv. Yeah. Baller. Baller. Absolute generational baller. Mr. Right? Clutch. I've been saying it consistently, all right? And you lot want to come and tell me that Lukaku's a better striker than Kai generational Havertz. Never, no way in hell, mate. <laughs> Never, ever going to be anywhere near as good as this fella is. This mm. kid, he, and I say kid because he's 22 years old, has not only won us just now the Club World Cup, he's won us the Champions League. He's clutching every final. He's clutching every moment. Ice cold minerals. This guy is fucking elite. He's elite, all right? This guy is clear of Lukaku. We don't need Lukaku. And let's have it right. Tuchel took off his £100 million striker, all right, when we were trying to win the game. And he left, who did he leave on? He left Kai Generational Havertz on, bruv. Because he knows this guy's going to get his chance. And when he gets his chance, he'll put it away because he's clinical, yeah? That is Kai Havertz for you, all right? No one should ever come at this guy. You've got to back this kid, all right? Seriously back this kid because he's, he's going all the luck, way bro. with Chelsea. He's, he's going to go down in Chelsea's history as an absolute fucking legend. He already is a legend in my book. Yeah, yeah? he is, mate. He's already a legend. He has made us world champions, all right? That is, that, is, that is something that not even Lampard, Terry, Drogba could do, bruv. You understand it's that? Funny. He, he stepped up. when well, It was all them players on the pitch and he stepped up to take that penalty, bruv. You know, he took the responsibility and that penalty was class. That finish. You know, you know the minerals. Top penalty. When I say, when I talk about minerals, bruv, yeah, that's the minerals, mate. Yeah, when someone steps up in a pressure moment like that, exactly. a young Tell kid them. at them, 22... Bro. To have the whole world on his shoulders, right? He knows if he scores that, he's won us the World Cup, yeah? And it was nothing for him, Giza. It was nothing. He's he's ice cold. He's King Kai, bruv. I mean, Lukaku's got the King Kai. I think he's in the same talent, but he's not there yet. You know know what, yeah? I'm I'm being real with you, all right? Isn't it interesting? When Lukaku came off, he went three at the back. He played his wing-back system. He put Timo on, who I want to give a shout-out to Turbo Timo, Timo well. bruv. Timo did, put in a shift today. He put we in a shift. We were not better when Lukaku right? came Pulisic off. put in a shift today. The boys put in a shift. Because I'll tell you what, when Money Mason Minerals Mount went off with that injury, we lost fucking control. We didn't have it up front. We were very, very poor, imbalanced. Not enough intensity in our game. We struggled. And then the gaffer took Lukaku off because he knew it was is about is about we got to have possession. We've got to tire them out. They're low blocking us. It doesn't suit Lukaku like that. We got to play possession football, and that's exactly what we did. And we dominated the game. Yeah, you're wrong. Absolutely Yoni. dominated. Lukaku was a uh, tired. He, he was a uh, he was gone. They, he came off. You don't take off your 100 million Look, striker because he's we were tired, worse. bruv. When don't be silly. Off, we nah. were rubbish. No, 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 no. Let's have it we right, were yeah. When Let's have off. it right. Kai yeah. Havertz played the whole game, yeah, we'll the last off. game, Pulisic the semi-final he played, we and then he played the whole Did we get better when the came off? Yeah? I don't want to hear any of that nonsense. Any day, he scored a goal he should have scored. That's food and drink goal for him. It's nothing special. What Kai Havertz did, that is that is special Look, big up Kai Havertz. He stepped up white, but he had a poor game of all today. Nah! Are you joking? He did. No, outside the penalty, he had a poor game. don't give me that waffle, mate. Do not give me that waffle. He it's put in a shift time. all game, bruv. He was everywhere. Do you know where he, how he dug in deep? He was pulling in deep, bruv. He was picking up the ball. He's getting in amazing positions. No, I'm not no saying one found his him, endeavor bruv. was good. His no, endeavor was no, no, no. He did more than Lukaku, that. mate. I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you that now. Hey, 100%. Team. No, I would, I, no, I'd say that's fair because the penalty was super clutch, mate. King it's Kai not even about. It's not about but, just a penalty. It's about his all-round performance. You know what, though? Big up to big up to Palmeiras as well. They played. They set up and they had a game plan and they done yeah, well. Yeah, they man. did. They yeah, they in, did. Man. They made it really hard for us. You know, it wasn't easy out there today. And that midfield let us down because they were fucking shit today as well. Let's get it right, can't they? The midfield was poor for me. I think they let the forever. attack down. Yeah, they were a lot. For I will say that. But, but you know, I have it's down. Let me tell you that because every single time we were watching this game. 
Hey, yeah, Tiago Silva with the ball or Kova or Kante. And here we got Kai Havertz just like, hey, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. And never got the ball. The man was running from minute one to minute 120. Yeah, bro. He, stop. he put he in the stop. work, mate. That, that, listen. that, listen, Lukaku talking about Lukaku being tired. No, I, have that that waffle, with Lukaku, Johnny. I, I, I don't want to hear that he was tired. That was ta- do you know why he was, he was taken off? He was taken off because, he was, taken off because he, was he, he, off because he was a tactical change by the gaffer because he wanted to play two good ball, son. That's what he did. He wanted to play two good ball. And when he came off, you saw the difference in possession, mate. You Lukaku saw the difference. Off, we were rubbish. You saw the difference oh, in no, possession, no, and you can't tell me anything that. different. Don't but listen, that. Jim, I got, I got a duck out. I'm gonna do the space. I know you're gonna come on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, anyway. big up, big up to everyone. Yeah. Wait, Support and we the channel. We're the champions in the world, bro. That's what we're gonna say. World yeah. champions, bro. World champions. World champions. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. We have to do chant again. Oh, Roman, do you know what that's worth? Come on, bruv. Let's have it right. <laughs> Let's have it right. Up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Let's go, man. See you later, Listen, I, I might be talking a little too soon and getting ahead of myself. This might be my bias speaking, but like, listen, right now, Havertz in my opinion, is starting to cement himself as becoming one of the Chelsea legends. It's just, this man scored in the Champions League, won us the Champions League. Scored in the Club World Cup, won us our very first Club World Cup. This man is inevitable. This man is Thanos. The German Thanos, bro. He's coming in here and he's dropping <laughs> dropping bombs. He's dropping goals, bro. And you know Liverpool what? Liverpool in trouble. Listen, listen, Lukaku. You got your goal today. Rest, rest, man. The bench is right there for you. Rest, rest, please. Yes, let man. let Havertz, let the king take his throne again, and let's just start playing good Tuchel ball. Good Tuchel ball, please. Yeah, facts, bro. Facts, facts. Yeah, Marshall, what was, what was your thoughts on the lineup when you first saw it? Did you think Tuchel got it wrong? Or? Um, listen, I was ready to blame it on Tuchel if we lost. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I don't. Maybe Ziyech was hurt in the very beginning, uh, got got an injury or something in, in training, you know, following yeah. the footsteps of Christian Pulisic, but uh, in in the warm up. But honestly, um, it, it ended up working out. Look, Chelsea, for Chelsea standards, it was a disappointing game. Chelsea should be playing a lot better. Chelsea should be finishing their chances. You know, um, I'm not liking this formation. I'm not liking this team with Romelu um, at all. Uh, it's just, wow. it's just not working. It's just oh. not working. You even against Al Hilal, it was just so poor to see how, how, how much, how much like you had Aspie and and, and Ziyech against like five men, and then you know Lukaku just standing in the middle outside of the 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 goal the the 18 yard box just standing there just doing nothing so it's just like listen you look at how Kai Havertz played today off the ball you look at how much he runs and opens himself up I don't know what it is about the midfield they need to start opening their eyes and and finding Havertz and finding Callum more like today especially you saw it we need, the midfield was poor. We need, we actually, the, 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 the truth is, we actually need to buy someone for the midfield that is progressive. No, no, them. I agree. Yeah, I agree for problem. sure. I, I think today could have used a Jorginho, someone that could find passes like that. Mm. Um, but, you know, Conte, Kova, you know, Kova's been amazing lately. I've been singing his praises, but today it was, you know, below average. Conte, too, below average, especially, you know, you want Conte to be in those finals because, I mean, this man is like one of the greatest DMs in the world. So, yeah. and, and you know, no disrespect to Kova, too. He He's one of them as well. But it, it's just I wanted to see Jorginho. I was kind of surprised Saul came on. Um, surprised Ziyech wasn't in that lineup despite how good he's been. Obviously, not surprised Lukaku was in, was in the lineup, but... You know, upset obvious. he's in the lineup regardless. <laughs> yeah. And then Callum as a left wing back, you know, I wasn't sure how much that was going to work. We should have just been doing four in the back because we don't have the wing backs right now. Well, listen, you know, so. I keep saying it. We are the second team, English team, in to to win the world treble. You know, we've won the Super Cup, the, world, the, the Club World Cup and the Champions League. The only other team that's done that is Liverpool in 2019. So again, we're breaking, you know, not breaking records, but we're setting out our own records. We've now won every trophy and you guys sitting here with me and the viewers and myself can all actually sit here and say that we have been very lucky to be born in a period where we've managed to watch our football club lift every possible trophy oh, yeah. available. Of in, course. 
every possible every every possible trophy available that we could possibly need. And I, I'm a satisfied. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a very satisfying guy. Yeah. Right? Like, and we can't we yeah. can't play, we can't blame the performance either. A final is a final. You very rarely get great matches in a final. You know, yeah. once in a blue moon, you get a great performance. Yeah, it wasn't great. Though. No, you're yeah. right, Nick. It wasn't yeah, it great, was, but mm -hmm. it's it's the final. Baku was the the, You know, the players have pressure to win it, so we can't say uh, nothing bad about I it. I do think we still got some long term problems though. When I when I look at how we actually play and build up our play, we're very predictable our patterns of play are very obvious yeah, that's true yeah too slow at moving the ball forward there's a lot of things way that I too slow to work on as well you know and and that maybe that would just kick on when Tuchel actually gets backed and he goes and yeah, maybe yeah. a couple personnel to strengthen that squad once, but coming at the moment that's for in sure, what, 380 once, days he's won three yeah. trophies once but, Tuchel gets through, like we said, it's mad. we have to wait for the summer let him get get rid of who he wants and get who he wants exactly. then we can stay that's what we. That's what we have to do. But in the meantime, we can go and win the rest of these. Exactly. Trophies. Well, we've still got the Carabao yeah. Cup and Eric Blue's here as well. Eric Blue, yeah. what you say, my man? I've oh, Eric you. Blue. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm uh, quite late to the right, <laughs> to the, to the right. party, but right. uh, yeah, fantastic. Lateness is greatness, mate. That's yeah, yeah. Right. Look, I'm I'm fashionably late. Uh, fantastic results. I'm very very happy. Uh, we finally got the last Infinity Stone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 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 hit us what you're saying. Look, the haters can keep crying, man. This is fantastic. Just, just, just keep hating, keep looking for things to try and discredit us. It's, it's beautiful. So, yeah, I'm just uh, very happy with the result. I don't even care about the performance, I don't care about how poor we were. You know, it's about winning in the end, and that's what we did. Yeah. So, that's it, man. Who, who stood out for you today? I know that we weren't the greatest performance, but mm. what player do you think really should like impress you? Yeah, I think, uh, Rudiger is an obvious pick. I mean, yeah. he was always uh, he's always impressive. He's always uh, saving us in. constantly today. Oh, yeah, well, constantly. You know, yeah, what I'm gonna say great. I actually think he's world class. I think we do world class. Look, I I said this a while ago, and people, you know, people are reserved. People don't want to, but I don't even I care. Know. Like I I said this a long time ago, and I'm gonna keep saying it. Rudiger is world class. He, since Tuchel um, came into Chelsea, I think he's been world class. And I don't think that's just because he's playing in his best. You know, obviously he's better in the back three, but I think generally speaking, he's just a really high quality uh, player. And he was the obvious pick. I think maybe you could say Lukaku for the goal, but you know, other than the goal, he didn't really do too much. But I think Lukaku, uh, Lukaku, uh, he wasn't too bad. I don't think he was too bad. I think he was all right. But he also laid off two good chances for Pulisic. Yeah, well. he did. I think he was he was all right. He really was. Obviously, he scored in the semi final as well. But yeah, Rudiger is the the main guy for me. I don't think there's any obvious uh, pick other than Rudiger. So yeah, hof I hopefully mean, he says. Yeah, I know a lot of people wanted to kind of like. I know some Chelsea fans were moaning at Thiago. Said, Why did you put your hand up there and there? But do you know what? How can you ever go at someone that's been for me I, I, along with Rudiger our best defenders for for a yeah, while? Yeah. I mean, solid nine out of ten before. Even with that handball, he still was seven for me. Seven point five. He was. Yeah. Like, he just wanted he, to keep the game interesting, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is it that is it, Marshall? He wants to keep the game interesting. And do you know what? I'm so happy for him as well to to just come to Chelsea and win the trophies that he hadn't won. Do you know what I mean? And phenomenal, man. Like, Phenomenal player, and we're going to miss him. Trust me. When he does leave next year, mm. if he does leave, which I think he'll retire. In, in my eyes, he's a Chelsea legend. You know, we need to get him. Season, we need to get yeah, him. Yeah, no, because he, he he's already going to be here next season already. He's w with yeah. us. He's won Champions League. He's won the Super Cup and the the um the Club World Cup. Yeah. You know, you see the leadership and how much. You know what? Do you look at the possession stats? You know, five percent Chelsea. The the seventy percent goes to Thiago Silva because Thiago Silva had most of the ball today, just <laughs> finding players and, and just making these plays. He just has such a huge impact to this team. Like I've never seen a player quite like Thiago Silva that comes into a team and just completely changes he, how he demands, we defend. He demands, and, he demands it, it's, expectation it is level. absolutely brilliant, and I am so happy that I actually got to see with my very own eyes how amazing this player is. Like. You only Facts. ever hear about it. You see him in the World Cups and stuff, and yeah. it is it is what it is. But he comes to Chelsea, my favorite team, and does all this and and just world class, yeah. man. World Marshall, class. We're not, we're, we're, not, we're not. You know, the bad thing is at the moment is we're not even really in in you know playing great. We're winning. But no, we're, 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 not. We're, not, we're not. We're not even seeing the best of it yet. We're not even seeing what Tuchel can crazy. do with, with his own squad. We're winning trophies with players that ain't really Tuchel's players. It's weird. Yeah. You know what I mean, like. 
It's mad. Can you just imagine? This is what I'm saying. We have to back this guy. We cannot afford. You, to you asked before. You asked before who who I think is you know if if you know Tuchel tops Mourinho. In my eyes, in my eyes, obviously yeah. you know he still needs to win the league. But in my eyes, yeah. I think he, this is the best manager we've had at Chelsea yeah. ever in the history of Chelsea. And no, I tell no, you this right now because even 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 at this point, there was trouble. You know, there was trouble on the ship. The ship was getting rocky. Even with Mourinho, things were looking troublesome. It looked like he was getting the sack, you know. And I'm talking like Mourinho's second season. But it's just, he comes here. He has a team that isn't even his. Wins us the best, the, the most amazing trophy you can win as a manager in, in Europe. In the world, really. And then comes here, even in bad form. Still wins us Super Cup. Still wins us Club World Cup. Yeah. Like... You yeah, put Mourinho in that, in that position, I don't think you can get the same result. <laughs> and for me, it's uh, I think the coaching without a doubt that's the number one thing for me. Mm. So, like, it's, it's a combination. So, the coaching and the man management, you know, players will never, you know, play, player power will never, will never prevail as long as Sukal is there. The players will never have any kind of major issue with that. Him, is a breath never, of fresh air, let me tell you. He'll never lose the dressing room. I don't think he'll ever lose the dressing room, which is huge. And that's, that's what, you know, yeah. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the main thing that gets the manager sacked, right? So it's it's, a, it's a very yeah. Yeah. The other thing as well, which is massive, is it seems like Roman's backing him. Like it seems like he really is he gets along with him, you know. Like it's, yeah. there's been talks in on social media really amazing. Of, him, of him saying, Look, in the Lukaku scenario, I'll back you. Whatever you think's right, we do. Yeah. You know, and I love that. And we've not had that as Chelsea. The one thing as Chelsea fans that we are thriving for is at our ball for once to back the right manager. And I think this, when you think about all the managers that Chelsea have had in the past, I agree with what Marsh saying. I think he's the best equipped. I don't think he has many weaknesses to his to his whole management. Because he's mm. not only is he good at, you know, uh, systems, I think his man management's amazing. I think there's a number of things. That, that just makes him stand out to even the yeah. pe the best like Jose Mourinho because Jose Mourinho was a great manager don't get me wrong and he demanded the best and he done great things at this football club but in terms of it, the managerial um what's the word the man sort of the man the way that they they you know that they approach uh, the players and, and work with the players I think that yeah. Tuchel you could argue that Tuchel's probably is is, is well equipped or more equipped than any of the managers that we've had before and if he if we can back that and he stays for the next three, four, four years, I think we will generally be successful. And I do think we'll win a Premier League under him eventually. But he has to be backed. And that's what worries me, because I don't know where the board stand. And I, this board has let us down so many times in the past with managers that I just don't know if I trust that. That worries me, you know. Mm. So I just want him to do the right thing. And I'm hoping that if Roman's on his side and backing him, then the board has to follow suit and do what's what's required, right? The after, Roman. after this result, it's the first time I felt in a very long time where I'm like... Yeah. This guy might actually stay. This guy might yeah. actually be able to build the project that we've all. I think I could speak for most Chelsea fans. All of us are tired of this whole, uh, you know, hire and sack, you know, culture that's been developed in Chelsea. I think most of us are ready for a project, which is why we were excited for yes. Timo, which is why we were excited for Havertz, Mason Mel, all the youth players, Reese James, you know. I think this is the first time in a long time that, look, this manager came in, he's won. Three out of the four trophies, I guess you can, if you want to count the Premier League, five yeah. trophies he was presented. He's not lost a semi final, Marshall. What, what, not in his career. He's never lost a semi final. It's mad, isn't it? So it's it's just like this guy's proving that he could be the one that's here to stay. And I really hope that's the case. And I really hope in the summer, especially, we back this guy because look, the Premier League. It happens. We got we had injuries. Choa was uh, the start of it all, and we didn't have anyone to back him up. I'm sorry, Marcus yeah. Alonso. Is just did you hear what Marcus Alonso said? By the way, apparently he wants to do what Aspie did, have yeah, the same I, legacy that Aspie. Listen, bro. I don't know. Don't, no, don't do this to me. I don't. Go home. Casas yeah. over there, bro. <laughs> like it's not you happening. Know, sorry. You all are gonna you all are gonna be voted when he wins everything. No, no. no Hassan, Hassan's it. got an agenda with Alonso. <laughs> stop man. it. Yeah, Alonso. But it's just there, there's a project here that looks like it's it's gonna actually, you know, come to fruition. And I hope it's too. I hope he gets back. But with with you know with the team this season with Chua getting injured, you know, Alonso wasn't the proper backup. You know, we don't have wing backs, proper wing backs. We never got him for two goals. So, you know, maybe it was a little too ambitious of me in the beginning of the season to think that we were gonna win it. 
we had good players, but no. maybe we didn't even need a striker, as we can tell. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck's well, we sake. But yeah. Man, I didn't even think we can get a striker that had a worse touch in Timo, but here I am standing there. Yeah, well, though, big up to Timo, though. Today he was taking on players. It was know, fantastic. It was, it, was, it, was, it was weird. It's like, where is that player? Like, I mean, like he looked confident <laughs> on the ball. Like, he was taking, right? making runs. His crossing was really good. Like his crosses in the box were like finding players and I thought he yeah, was like, a ninety five million pound signing. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, with Romelu Lukaku, I still hold it. Like he scored the goal today. I do think that yeah. his individual performances need to be better. He's a hundred million pound striker. I do, however, he can sit on the bench. <laughs> yeah, he can sit on the bench, but we won't do No, we need to get Havertz and Lukaku to play better together. Well, maybe. I, I maybe don't know. I don't know, Gray. Don't Gray, know, but... for the first time, for the first time watching football today, I, I watched a player break Isaac Newton's basic law of inertia of, of an object in motion stays in motion. This man touched the ball. <laughs> it was coming at him like what five kilometers an hour, and then the ball all of a sudden went all the way back to Tiago yeah, Silva at like fifteen. Like, <laughs> oh, bro, the goal is this that way, not bad, that way. Marshall, you you all were doing it now. Look, that's what worries. That's, that's what worries me. With they have to find a way to get the boot to him more. Cross he had plenty of opportunities, Nick. Not you know, to be crosses, you know. No, no, I agree. I agree. If you get the right chem, yeah. the right uh, players for him, he will bang in goals every bloody game. It's not that we haven't it? got the right players. For me, in the second yeah. half, Lukaku mixed it up a bit better. He actually came deep. Well, no, no, if that's mixed first half, half first, no, first, first half, he was to me a bit too static. Like he, yeah, but he's always he needed like that. a move. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's no, he's not always. He's always. No, he's like not. That. No, he's, he's not. When he's like confident, when he's confident, he moves last, a bit more. When he's confident. great, great. The last time he wasn't goal. like that was Aston Villa in December. Exactly. And that was the best right. he's been. He hasn't okay. played like that since, and that's my problem with him. Yeah, yeah, but he's got it in him. That's what I'm he's saying. Got he's got it in him to be a top player. He's not showing Proofs it. Proofs in the pud, mate. That's what I always yeah. say. The no, but I, I would say you have to give him credit, though, because he did score in the semi final and yeah, he did score no, in the good, final. Good for him. So he is, yeah, he is turning he's up. He's clutch, a mate. Come on. First he shot. No, don't goal. say that, buddy. Come on. Strong. Come on. He scored in a final. That's what everyone was saying. Without the Lukaku goal, we would have won this fight. Listen, so if the ball comes to my like head that, like that, yeah. where I don't have to do anything, and he's 100 million, I expect to score that fucking goal. Do you know what I mean? Like, stop making it. It was a good goal. Yeah, all right. Stop stop making it like as if it's like, oh my God, he's back. Look, he's, yeah, he's he, okay. He's back. We're not saying Listen, yeah, he's that all halal goal, that all halal goal was through. clutch, but in the wrong way, bro. Oh, clutch in the yeah. sense that the other player yeah. wasn't. <laughs> he didn't get it right, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, I just expect more from him. I keep saying that yeah. I think his game is actually limited, and I don't think he, yeah. I don't think he is um, in the way that we play. I don't think that he's able to. I don't know if I think he's able to adapt to that. I know at Inter Milan, when you look at him at Inter Milan, I didn't watch loads of it, but from people that I spoke to, they said why Lukaku works so well is that Conte built the team around Lukaku. Yeah, exactly. We're not, we're, yeah. we're not doing that at Chelsea. What we're doing, yeah, but is took has to find a way to do something. That's the no, thing. but then, he is. But we're not, but we're yes, not, we shouldn't, right. but my point is, we shouldn't build our team around the car field because we've got so many good players. They didn't want, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we these good players are not scoring, Jim. Uh, you know, when are they, yeah. these players scoring? Tell me. That's why we bought him, because we weren't scoring. Right. No. Yeah, he's not scoring, he scored nine goals in total. That's like, what, he's not even hit double digits. Like, come on, man. Like, mm. I expect him to score over 20 goals this season. Yeah, well, yeah, let's see, the season ain't over yet. He's got to the end of the season. Well, yes, he, has, he has got to the end of the season. We'll see to what right. happens. Yeah. I, I only yeah. partially, I only partially disagree with Jem in the sense that, like, you know, maybe he doesn't fit this, uh, this formation. But I don't think that's the problem. I think, I think he can. I think he, like, he, I believe him when he says he's multifaceted. But the thing with him is that I just think it's all mental. I think he's yeah. just too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ever since true. that interview, that's true, yeah. ever since that interview, his uh. performances have plummeted. Before that interview, he was doing decently, you know. Yeah, he stood still a little bit, but like the Aston Villa game, that Brighton game, he showed up for the ball, he moved around, he, he, he jogged, he, yeah, he, was, he ran. Yeah, he I think through. his confidence got there. Uh, that, now, I think right now, that was before the, sh or the hate. The interview, before. the damn interview. And the interview, so, then you got this hate. He gets now, to he's mentally, since, he's not there. You ever know, since he, yeah. ever since the interview, now he thinks he's an intern. He's always playing, getting behind the back, counterattacking football, running in behind the defender, and it's like, bro, we don't play like this. Yeah, be true. more yeah. two dimensional, three dimensional with your play. It's just yeah, too, yeah, yeah. it's too, too limited. Is. That's what I keep saying, Joe. I think that's what I'm. What I keep saying. I think he might just be 
just the limited player. And he needs to, he need to play to his strengths, is what I'm saying, to get the best out of him. That's why I I'm, think he needs to I get agree, out of his head. I agree, I agree with the mentality thing. I've been saying it for a long time. I said he, a lot of the time, I've been going to games and watching him. Yeah. When I look at him, he just doesn't look like he doesn't, his movement is getting he's bullied off the ball. Right. Yeah, it's all him. That's what I'm saying. I feel like yeah. he's in his brain. Like I don't know whether he can overcome it at the moment. I'm really not sure at the moment. So I think he's he scored to today. And he didn't celebrate. But yeah. He didn't even celebrate. He scored. He was like, like what was that? You're in a final. Do you know what I mean? Well, like, well, like, celebrate. You've got people jumping. Bro, just, just give this guy an inter kit and let him put it underneath the no, the, no, the come Chelsea. Come on, we gave him a training kit. We gave him a Chelsea training no, but, kit. But, we gave him a Chelsea inter training no, kit. Just put that shit on, dude, and just pretend no, like you're but, at inter. Seriously. Well, he did he did celebrate, didn't he, though? He he, he did celebrate. I think he did celebrate. Uh, no, he didn't. A a he wasn't I super enthusiastic. I love looking at the goal. You'll see what I mean. But... Guys, I do need to shoot mm. over nearly two hours. There's still over 185 people here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Been been a big show today. Smash that Subscri like. Smash the likes. Mm. Please do that. Let's get it over 150 like. likes. Subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. You can also go and follow Marshall, who's who's again got another, a Chelsea channel that he does with Kai, which is KH No Filter Football. They've got a stream tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So go and check hey, them out as well. It's going to be fun. They're going to Go and check them out. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you guys that, before you is leave. That nine, is that 9 a.m. or 9 p.m.? 9 p.m. Uh, UK time. Right. Thanks, Jim. No worries. Let me just quickly... Oh, no, this is his... Um... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got it. It's fine. Yeah. But, but, um... uh, Marshall, I, I was... I was uh, as you know, I, I used to you know, uh, subscribe to your channel. Then you disappeared for such a long time. <laughs> it's the algorithm, now. man. The uh, algorithm yeah, I, is so weird. I subscribed, but I subscribed again when I saw you. Thank you, brother. Now. Appreciate you know, it. So I'm like, <laughs> well, guys, yeah, every, so every Sunday you know, we're trying to be consistent. Yeah. Every no, no, Sunday, no, no. nine p.m. UK time. You have to try and make it like that. Yeah. Listen, 160 yeah. of you here. If you all go and subscribe to KH No Filter Football, that's another Chelsea channel with great streaming over there. So make sure you check them out and support the channel as well. So, um, yeah, make sure you like it before you leave, Gun. to follow Appreciate that. Appreciate it, guys. In the Appreciate it. description as well. Um, I won't be back tomorrow. Um, I'm out. But I should be back maybe Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. I'll think of something, as always. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, thank you for coming on. We are the champions. We've seen it all. We've won it all. You know, no rival can tell you anything. Don't listen to people like Egal, who are telling us that it's <laughs> community shield. Egal, you know, he doesn't know what he's talking about, but um, no, never does. Never does. We'll finish by saying we are the champions, eh? We hey, are the champions. We are the champions of the world. <laughs> <laughs>